What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you how to troubleshoot your TV while expensive multimeter like this one. So this TV has a bright haze all over the screen. So step one, what I would do is unplug the power cord right here for about 30 seconds and then plug it back in. That's called a hard reset. All right and see if that fixes your issue. Believe it or not, a lot of times it can. Now, if you're only having that white haze on your, let's say, video one input, and you don't have that white haze on your video two input, then that could be from another device. It could be from your AV receiver or your cable box. So you wanna check your video cable connections and you wanna check your receiver, hard reset the receiver as well, hard reset the cable box as well. But on this TV, let's check, take a look, and we're gonna change the source to TV source, still hazy, uh, PC, still hazy. So all of our inputs, it looks the same. So the next thing we wanna do is go to the menu settings and go over to the backlight and then lower the backlight settings. Well, it looks like the backlight, it gets bright and it gets dim. So I'm controlling the backlight and it looks like it's getting brighter and darker but the haze is still there so next let's go to the brightness settings okay and increase the brightness it's not increased I don't see any difference well maybe a little bit I don't know I'm not sure it looks like it looks the same yeah so it doesn't look like I'm, adju I'm adjusting it looks like it's controlling the settings, but it, the brightness is the same. You never want to max out any of your settings. You're putting more stress on the circuit, and that's more wear and tear on your TV, so your TV won't last as long. So make sure you put your backlight settings at mid settings. Um, same thing goes for LED TVs. LED TVs, if you max out your backlight settings, your LED strips can go defective faster. And I did a completely different video how to replace your LED strips on, on your TV. If your TV's out of warranty, then proceed. But of course, if your TV's in warranty and you want to call the manufacturer, make sure they warranty it. Because as soon as you open up the TV, you void the warranty. So let's go ahead and unplug the power right here. And we're going to take a closer look. So the power is plugged in right here. The AC volts gets brought to the power supply board. It converts AC volts to DC volts. That DC volts gets distributed to the main logic board. It controls all the logic functions like on, off, volume control, channel up and down, all the AV inputs as well. And over here on this side, you have the inverter board and the inverter board uh, gives you the glow on the screen so you can see the picture. Uh, but so if you have a, like usually a dark shadow on your screen or horizontal dark shadow on your screen, it could be a defective inverter board or a transformer that's defective on your inverter board or maybe a bad CCFL tube on your inverter um, that's connected to your inverter board. Checking for scorching on the transformers will help you find out what part is bad. So that's another step that you do. Another troubleshooting step is you're using your eyes. If your TV's clicking on and off, it could be the capacitors that are in circuit on the power supply board because the, the job of the capacitors is to stabilize the power in the power supply circuit. And you could just physically look at the uh, capacitors and if they look blown on top, they would uh, be all um, swollen looking on top. And I'll show you a picture of what it looks like. So you can assume that those capacitors are bad. You can replace the capacitors or replace the power supply board. So that's another step, is looking at the bad parts on, on the board. Um, another thing is you can have bad capacitors as well on the main logic board that causes that issue, the clicking on and off issue. If you have a bright haze on the screen and you're able to adjust the, um, the settings on your backlight, so you can assume that the backlight circuit is working properly and your brightness settings when you lower it all the way down and you raise it all the way up and it looks the same, you can assume that it could be your TCOM board or your main logic board. But in, usually it's the TCOM board that would cause that issue. So let's go ahead and open that up. So the TCOM board is directly connected to the LCD panel. 
that's what gives you your picture. So if you have um, thin color lines all over the screen, then it could be your T-Com board that's defective. And you want to push down on the circuit board and then peel the back plate off the thermal pad. Sometimes this thermal pad sticks to the plate. I'm going to put one screw in, or a couple screws in. I'm going to show you. So we're going to disconnect it and then connect it. I'm going to go ahead for now. I'm going to disconnect it. All right, so it's disconnected. Lift up this latch using my thumbnail. Pull it out. Pull that out. Now let's go ahead and turn the TV on <clears throat> and see if we still have that haze. TV is turning on. Turn off that light. And the TV is on. See? Turn this light off so you guys can see. So we don't. That haze is gone now. You notice the haze is gone? Well, because the T-Con board is unplugged. So it wasn't the backlight that was causing the issue. Let's turn the TV off. And see how... Yeah, see how the, um, and there's not really much of a haze going on? So that's how you pretty much could troubleshoot just by simply unplugging the T-Con board. And sometimes the T-Con board, if it's bad, it'll prevent the whole entire TV from turning on. Like on Sony TVs, if you have a bad T-Con board, the TV won't even turn on. The red light will blink on the front of the TV constantly. Another troubleshooting step that you can do is check for any kind of bad connections. Take something that is non-conductive, like something plastic, and tap around and see if the TV screen flickers, good and bad. All right, so lift it up and take a look at the screen. And then we're going to tap around. And it looks like it is not a bad connection. It's a bad part, most likely. You can also use freeze spray to troubleshoot because a lot of parts will um, break down if it gets overheated. And another way to troubleshoot is typing in your TV model number, the um, problem that you're having, and Googling it. And it may tell you or show you a video how to fix your issue. You should check out badcaps.net. Here's a guy who had the same issue with the white screen, changed out the TCOM board, and success. See the link below. So if this video was informative and it helped you out, give me a big thumbs up. If you know anyone that this video will help, go ahead and click on the share button below and share it to them, help someone out. And if you want more how-to tech videos coming your way, click on the subscribe button, this link right here, or the subscribe button below. And if you want to know more about TV repairs, click on this link right here.